Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and hope you're all well. Today we're going to have a look at a couple of different routines that you may not have seen or thought of before with regards to aiding our positional play when we're break building. Let's get into it. This first exercise is called Six Red Six Blues and was first brought to my attention by former World Championship finalist Nigel Bond during a coaching session I had with him. And the idea is very simple, let me talk you through it. As you can see, three reds are placed where the yellow, green and brown normally would be spotted with the other three on mirroring positions just below the pink spot on the other side of the table, and simply try to pot each red with the blue to follow. The challenge about this exercise is you only have one colour to play for after potting each red, so getting the right angle on the ball you're playing for is of paramount importance to help improve your cue ball economy and thus reduce the chances of your positional shot going awry. Here on camera I've just completed this routine without imposing any particular rules, but there are a few ways you can make this harder to further challenge yourself. For example, by using no cushions, or by taking the reds in a certain order, perhaps the top three followed by those below the blue, or maybe alternating on each side. Do whatever will keep the routine fun, useful and challenging for you personally. Routine 1, job done. This second exercise is one I independently created, and again focuses on positional play using the blue. Here there is no specific place you have to put each red at the start, but for me I usually have 8 one side of the blue and 7 on the other for an even spread. The two exercises I'm showing today do have their similarities, but this one is perhaps more realistic to come up in a match, as it kind of resembles one of those topsy-turvy frame situations in the aftermath of several safety shots pushing reds from the pack up the table, leaving the cue ball in the sanctuary of the black cushion due to the presence of reds in the bulk end. As with the first routine, again there are similar ways you can challenge yourself further with how you choose to complete the exercise if you feel it's too easy to begin with. As I always say, tailor each practice routine to your own needs and ability. So just as we're reaching the climax of our second routine here, I just wanted to take the chance to say a big thank you to everyone that supported the channel so far. Recently hit 100 subscribers, which was an awesome number to get to so quickly. And yeah, hopefully we can add a few more to the count as we go along. But yeah, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. So thank you very much for that. If you haven't already subscribed, please do feel free to do so as to not miss any videos in the future. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed and see you next time.